We're going to break out of uh, that news conference and Sir Keir Starmer won't mind because it's football related. He's a big football fan, of course, and England have beaten Switzerland on penalties. They are through to the semi-finals of the Euros uh, playing next, Turkey or the Netherlands. They won on penalties. Our sports correspondent Rob Harris is in Dusseldorf for us. Rob, they don't make it easy for us, do they? No, this really is true. England have won a penalty shootout. The three lines winning 5-3 on penalties. They scored all their penalties. Trent Alexander-Arnold finding the net with the last of them, ensuring that they are through to the semi-finals of Euro 2024. It was nervy. It was tense. It was anxious. They fell behind in the second half. Only then did Gareth Southgate make the changes and just when it looked like all hope was lost, Bakaya Saka popped up with an equaliser, sending the game into extra time when it was nervy. They were struggling to create chances. The Swiss were providing so much threat, having already knocked out the holders, Italy. But England, having lost to Italy in the shootout in the last Euros final three years ago, they produced the goods and somehow they've managed to perfect penalties although they have done it before the england men of course under southgate against columbia at the world cup in 2018 this though showed the calmness and coolness under pressure just when they needed it most those england penalties taken by cole palmer the first then a penalty for switzerland say by pickford as England then went on to score all the penalties, as did the Swiss. We had Bellingham scoring, we had Saka scoring, Tony, and then Trent Alexander Arnold to ensure there would not be a fifth spot kit taken by Switzerland. So Gareth Southgate, on his 100th match in charge, has guided England through to a third semi final in his four tournaments in charge. He reached the last four in Russia in 2018 at the World Cup. They fell short then. They reached the semi-finals at the last Euros and they got through to the final. And now they have made it in Germany through to another semi-final. They'll play Turkey or the Netherlands in Dortmund on Wednesday.